Hey there, it's Steve and Courtney from Serious Keto. And in this video, we are going to continue our review of Keto Chow. So while you were gone in the army, mm -hmm. your mom and Connor and I, we did a pretty substantial review of Keto Chow. I think we tried 11 or 12 different flavors. Wow. They have a lot of flavors. There's still probably, I don't know, six or eight sweet flavors that we haven't tried, as well as four savory flavors, which I'm kind of excited to use potentially in a recipe. You know, like maybe enchilada sauce, I think, might be something we can pull off with one of them. Anyhow, future video. But in this video, we're going to try out the remaining flavors, starting with two that you picked out. Yes. What do we have? Raspberry cheesecake and pina colada. Alrighty. What do you want to do first? Mm, pina colada. All right. So are these meal replacement shakes? Yes. Okay. I mean, and I find that drinking half a shaker bottle I'm pretty full. So it's almost like two meals for okay. me. I don't know how I feel about it. Yeah? The texture of it is, I feel like, different than anything I've ever had. Okay. Well, there is, you know, heavy whipping cream in it. but mm. All right, so getting past... The texture that you weren't prepared for. You just didn't yeah. think it was going to be that creamy. Yeah, I guess I, that's not what I was... I was thinking it was like water and powder in a blender bottle. That no, was good. No, this is substantial. It fills you up. Yeah, I can see how that would make you full. So what did you think of the flavor? I don't know how much I like the pina colada. Yeah, I... When I first tasted it, I'm like, mmm. But the, And the, then afterwards, you didn't the, like it. The as tail much. end, it's got more like a pineapple candy yeah. taste to yep. it you know like the difference between regular pineapple and the pineapple, pineapple candy. candy like a pineapple taffy or something yeah that just tastes yeah. slightly artificial yep. to me yep i mean it's good but like i said i liked it more at the front end than yeah. the back end which i don't know maybe if you put some malibu in this i would cover that no. not for you though you're not old enough not for me though I'm looking forward to this because I feel like the texture goes along with the flavor. So I think that'll be good. Well, let's see. Let's, we're gonna find out. Oh, that is. That's, that's good. <laughs> that is something special. That reminds me, it's, it's like a, some sort of raspberry ice cream. Mm hmm. Well, yeah. At Culver's, I get vanilla ice cream with raspberry and marshmallow sauce. Mm -hmm. So this is reminding me of that. This is... Good. This is a top flavor right here. Mm -hmm. Of all the ones that I've tried, this, oh my gosh, this, I, I want to make this into ice cream. Yeah, that'd be really good as ice cream. That's like, it'd be like my favorite ice cream. It's like exactly what I like. Well, I know that there's going to be more of this in my next order because this... I'm, I'm glad we did this second, because mm -hmm. this, this is I awesome. I know it would be better. You know. Yeah. All right, well, we've got some other flavors, mm -hmm. but, you know, we're not going to do them all in one day, right. obviously. So we'll come back in a couple days. You can either do a flavor or two with me, or your mom can, or, or Connor can, but we're going to work our way through all of them. All right. All right. Sounds good. All right, we have another two flavors. Yes. Do you want me to tell you what they are before you have them, or you want it to be a total surprise? I'm pretty sure I know. Oh, okay. What are they? Pumpkin spice. Yes. And cookies and cream. I don't think it's cookie. Is it cookies and cream? I thought it was cookies and cream. I what do you I've, think it is? I thought it was natural strawberry. I don't remember. Well, we're, too, we'll taste it, the difference. I made it two days ago. Okay. So what do you want to start with? The mystery flavor or pumpkin spice? Pumpkin spice. Okay. So this is the darker of the flavors. This is definitely pumpkin spice. The oh. other ones wouldn't be orange. It doesn't have a, it doesn't have a smell to it. Does it? Uh, I'm gonna go with pumpkin spice. All right, here we go. Ooh, that is pumpkin spice. Yes, that's pumpkin spice. That is, oh, you give me your opinion first. I like it. It is awesome. Yeah. It is like a- uh, Pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie, pumpkin cheesecake. I gotta think that come autumn, Instead of using mm -hmm. water to mix this, putting coffee in it and having like a pumpkin, well, what would pumpkin that? Pumpkin spice latte. Pumpkin spice latte. Yeah. Wow. This is another winner. Mm-hmm. But I definitely am 
pumpkin in the fall time, not pumpkin all year round. Or pumpkin in the winter too. Yeah, pumpkins. But, pumpkins got kind of that three month window where you get hit pretty hard, and mm-hmm. then you're kind of like good to go for the rest of the year. But at least we know another yeah. couple months we're gonna have to order some more of this. Yep. And now we have the mystery flavor. You're right. Cookies and cream. Cookies and cream. I'm not getting like the Oreo like cookies and cream that I wanted. Yeah, this it reminds me of sort of a a melted cookies and cream ice cream that doesn't have enough Oreo. Yeah, there's not enough um chocolate cookie type thing going on. Yeah, you really get the Oreo flavor from the black cocoa. Mhm. Can't just be regular cocoa, it's got to be black cocoa. And this is good. It just, to me, it's it's not Oreo enough. No, it doesn't really have the flavor. So? So. If you're looking for, like, cookies and cream ice cream, which is what I thought I was going to get, no. you know. If someone didn't tell you this was cookies and cream, I wouldn't said, know what it was. Yeah. It, if they, you would just say it's, like, melted, s- sort of cream. vanilla-y. Yeah. It's all right. So for this taste test, I've got my wife, Terry, here. Hello. And we're going to taste eggnog. I thought I was going to get a better reaction from you. Egg. You like eggnog. I do. In the holidays, I like to uh, have eggnog. Yeah, well, you get to have some not around the holidays (laughs) today. That will be our first flavor. You ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Are we going to touch or no? Cheers. You're you're like psyching me out there. (laughs) What do you think? Very good, like egg, yeah, very, it's good when it's really ice cold. Like if you didn't know that this were, uh, if I just said this was regular eggnog, would yeah. you think it's regular eggnog? Yes, it's, yes, I do. Yeah, the the it's taste? It's not as cinnamon, you know, every brand of eggnog tastes different, so yes. It's not as sweet, I think. It's not sweet. As correct. the store-bought stuff, yes. but it brings the nutmeg. Yes. And it's thick, it's creamy. Yeah, I I this, like uh, they, they got it right on yes. eggnog. Very good. So next up, we have the natural strawberry. This is the only flavor that I'm aware of that has monk fruit instead of sucralose. So this is sort of Keto Chow's concession to the anti-sucralose people. And if you're an anti-sucralose person, I would encourage you to read the article that I linked to down in the description below that talks about why Keto Chow uses sucralose. Anyhow, the first thing I notice is that for something labeled strawberry, the color on this is not, not at red. all pink. So, <laughs> pink or red, no. Here we go. Mm. It smells, definitely smells like strawberry and fruity. Yeah, it, it is not as sweet as the regular strawberry, strawberry. version. Uh, the regular strawberry version with the sucralose, definitely sweeter than this. Yeah, the ex- smell of the strawberry is stronger than the actual taste of strawberry. It's still, it's good. It's f- fruity, but. It's it's a lot like. Yeah, a ma- I actually like it because I'm not a big fan of strawberries. I mean, I like straw. Yeah, I'll eat a couple strawberries, but I won't p- specifically pick them. And- Oh, yeah. Yeah, so it's it's less sweet. It kind of reminds me of if there were a like a McDonald's strawberry shake at about 50% sweetness. Yeah. So if you're looking for something more sweet, maybe this is not the one for you. If you're looking for something not so sweet, then maybe this is the one for you. Yeah. My choice, I like the eggnog better. I, I like eggnog better than strawberry, but they're both very good. Well, there you go. <laughs> so I'm going to put a bow on this review. Oh yeah, also Keto Chow has come out with a few other flavors since I started recording this. So maybe next month I'll be able to get all the rest of the sweet flavors done. In terms of this month, I think the absolute hands down winner was the raspberry cheesecake. Oh, that was good. The pumpkin spice was good. The eggnog was good. We had a couple real winners in this batch and there were a couple that you know, we're maybe a little bit on the weak end of things. But I hope that the way that we describe these flavors helped you decide if you might like one of these or multiples of these. 
Anyhow, I will include a link along with a coupon code down below in the description for Keto Chow if you'd like to try some yourself. Thanks for watching.